This race recap is brought to you by Strange Engineering. Hashtag Race Strange. There was no kryptonite capable of holding back this Superman. Just one day after qualifying number one and scoring a $100,000 payday in the Traxxas 20 car shootout, Fast Jack Beckman scored his sixth national event victory of the season at the prestigious Chevrolet Performance NHRA U.S. Nationals on Monday afternoon. Beckman used the victory over Robert Height to solidify his number one seating heading into the playoffs. I wish you could give me a night's sleep just to kind of catch up on the physicality of this weekend to appreciate the enormity of it. I mean, it's stunning. You know, with Gary Linfoot out here, he's on the back of our trailer with his exoskeleton on him and, and doing things for Infinite Hero Foundation and Dodge and Matco and Sandy and everybody at DSM. This is our home race. All the crew has got their wives, girlfriends out here, wives or girlfriends out here. And, and to, to have the home race for them to be able to celebrate. And, uh, and Robert, I, I, I tanked the thing way in, so my light was artificial on that one. But Robert has owned me the last two times. They're here. Great team. They're back in the fight. Now it's a six-race slugfest, and there's ten great cars. Erica Anders closed out the regular season by beating teammate Drew Skillman in an all-elite performance pro-stock final round. The Indy victory was the first for Anders, who tied drag racing legend Shirley Muldowney for second on the all-time female wins list at 18. It also marked the first time in drag racing history for a female Indy pro stock winner. You tie Shirley Muldowney with 18 career wins. What are you thinking right now, E? It's really hard to put into words, Gary. I hate being a girl sometimes. But I give God all the glory, you know. Sometimes you wonder why things happen a certain way, and I didn't quite understand it a few years ago here in the finals, but things always come around, and I, can, uh, I can't thank him enough. So um, for Richard Freeman for giving me the opportunity, I always thank him. In the Pro Stock Motorcycle Division, Jerry Savoie knocked off the number one qualifier, Chip Ellis, in the final round. Savoie scored his first career Indy title when Ellis fouled. Good buddy Chip. He actually gave me one. Because uh, we had a really bad run. We burned up the clutch last round. And uh, Chip, I love you, brother. And I don't want to say thank you. I'm going to tell everybody out there tonight, will you pray, pray for Junior Pip? He's an awesome guy. The emotion of the moment and the thoughts that go to Junior Pippen. Morgan Lucas made the most of a hometown advantage as he drove his dragster to victory at Lucas Oil Raceway by beating Dave Connolly. The victory marked career win number 12. races this season hadn't won around coming into this event and here you stand for the u.s national wallet what kind of a magic carpet are you riding i can't even begin to tell you right now I'm trying to hold back crying right now I, I i don't get emotional ever and this is definitely one of those moments i um my wife and son are here so obviously there's a good luck charm there um i got a lot of friends and family here i'm just so excited um i've been trying for this for a long time i did an alcohol drag for during the meadows back in 2003 and this is something that was unexpected. It was pleasant. Aaron Brooks did a great job today. I asked him what he wanted to do in the final instead of try to run an 87 or a high 86. And I'm just kidding. This is probably the best race in the day of my life right now, and it started off with three really horrible days of qualifying, so thank you, everybody. <laughs> it didn't take too many attempts for Pro Modified's Rick Snavely to score his first NHRA crown, racing for just his second time in the j and Pro Modified series. Snavely outreacted and outran new points leader Mike Janis in the final round. In the top alcohol divisions, it was an injected nitro and blown alcohol combo reaching the final round of the dragster division. Joey Severance drove his way to the winner's circle by stopping Cameron Fair. Winning the funny car portion, Andy Bull won his second career NHRA national event crown as he defeated Andy Whiteley. Bull used a starting line advantage to his favor as he won with a 5.62 elapsed time. Headlining the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series winners, it was Greg Campaign's B. Yukato Dragster running 585 under the index to stop number one qualifier Craig Bourgeois and his B. Nostalgia Dragster. Superstock racer Jeff Rowell made his first trip to a final a memorable one with a 003 reaction time and a dead on 956 elapsed time to beat Jimmy DeFrank. 
Joining Rowell as a first-time winner was Kyle Ratliff, who survived seven rounds of competition to take home his first Wally at the expense of Tom Rambo. Defending Super Gas champion Luke Bagaki, who is also racing in Super Comp this weekend, scored his sixth victory by beating Anthony Fetch. Lee Klingensmith joined the first-time winner's parade as he won the Super Gas crown in a double breakout battle over Francis Ross. Mickey Hale won the double-A gassers portion of the event by outrunning Steve Crook. This race concluded the 18-race regular season of the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series. The countdown to the championship begins in two weeks at the Bellagio of Drag Strips, Z-Max Dragway, outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Stay tuned to CompetitionPlus.com for all the latest news and make sure to like us on Facebook. Kathy Fisher, CompetitionPlus.tv.